so in the last video we have stopped at a point so now we are going to actually uh, continue with the science as symptoms then followed by the treatment so in the science symptoms it depends on the area that is affected in the spinal cord the symptom may be uh, kind of severe chronic pain mostly there will be severe chronic pain the pain will be chronic not acute actually and then and then the pain will going to be worsening because over time as i've already said the cyst is going to be expanding right so that is it then the most classical symptom is loss of loss of pain and the temperature sensation temperature sensation in the upper extremities so so this in the upper extremities because as i have already as i have already showed the the, the paper that are just going to be destroyed actually so this loss of pain and temperature sensation is going to be restricted to only the upper extremities that's why it is even known as a kind of in a cap like pattern cap like pattern so let us see what a cap like pattern actually look like so this is it so this is what the cap like pattern means so this is the only area that is going to be affected so the patient will going to lose temperature and pain sensation around this area so that is it but the trunk and then the pes are going to be spared actually so that is it especially if the cervical region of the spinal cord is affected so that is it so the next symptom actually is going to be paralysis as i have already noted uh, as i have already said well, as the cyst is expanding we're going to also uh, uh affect the lateral corticospinal tract right and that one the other one that make our limbs to move so when they are uh, distracted then the limbs cannot move so the patient can complain of weakness and paralysis weakness and then paralysis so that is it and then one thing to remember is actually as i have already uh, said that the dorsal column uh, medial lemniscus that is the dorsal the dorsal uh, paniculi actually they are actually intact as i have already shot and that one they are the one that um carry the sensation of vibration and then proprioception so if they are intact then they are going to be intact intact vibration and proprioception in the patient because they are not affected by the proprioception it is not affected by the rings actually so that is it so now we are going to see the treatment so the treatment of serumgomalia is generally a surgical treatment so it is by surgical approach and then depending on what causes the serumgomalia so the most common cause is Arnold Chiari right that is the congenital Arnold Chiari Arnold malformation so in our carry malformation i have as i have already said in the uh, last video is the cerebellum is having a kind of uh no room to stay because that is under developed posterior cranial posa right so now by any means and by surgical approach you have to create that particular uh, room for the cerebellum that is to relieve to relieve the pressure so that is it and then that is correct the cerebellar cerebellar tonsils herniation so that is it and then if it is caused by spinal tumor then remove the tumor removal of tumor that is the spinal tumor so that is it if the if it is caused by spinal tumor and then once in the surgeons used to approach syrinx is they used to undergo a kind of shunting in the patient so what they actually used to do is they used to drain drain the fluid that is the cyst that is collected in the spinal cord so they used to drain it uh that is the cyst 
using catheter actually. So that is it. And mostly this surgery actually to the spinal cord is sometimes giving a kind of sequelae. That is it is having a kind of most of uh, most of the time there is complication actually. So that is it. And then that's thank you very much.